guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to film this video for you guys. It's something that I've been thinking about for quite a long time now, something that's different that hasn't been on YouTube before, and I see people editing their Sensi Clubs with you guys and doing like fun plan videos, but I'm not much of a planner like in the planner community, but I definitely plan when I do pre-orders. And as everybody knows, if you're in the wax community, Teddy Bees is opening tomorrow for a pre-order. And everybody knows, or you don't, I need to stop saying that, Teddy Bees only opens four times a year, roughly. She's harder to get wax from, longer turnaround times, and her pre-order lists are epic. And I find the number one thing after people get their orders is, man, I wish I would have gotten that. Oh, I didn't even see that on the list. Oh, Drew, if you got this, I wish you would have told me I wanted to get that. That sounds so good. So, grab a glass of wine, a Diet Coke perhaps, some water, LaCroix, your favorite beverage. I have my laptop here, and we are going to do a new series on my channel, Pre-Order and Plan With Me. So, I have the list pulled up here on my laptop, the Teddy Bee's Fall Holiday Pre-Order List, and I am going to make my list with you guys, post a video right before the pre-order goes live, that way you can see what I'm ordering, the way that my process works. Now I am going to do a voiceover and I'm going to share my screen so you can see right there with me my thought process. I'm going to like talk out loud with you guys so you can see what I'm getting, what I'm not getting, and then I will add little snippets into the video if I've already had the scent and what I absolutely love. So I'm going to read the intro to the pre-order first with you guys. So it says, when? Friday, September 2nd at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm Eastern Standard Time, so there's just a time difference there. It is an eight-week production and seven to ten business days packing and shipping. She's going to be open until she reaches her turnaround time limit. Now, she doesn't have an end date. It typically is throughout the weekend. So typically till about Sunday night or early Monday morning. Again, don't hold me to that. I can't predict when she's going to close it out, but again. And then there's a little bit of information about combined orders. I know... There's been some confusion with combining orders, so she gives you step-by-step step if you placed an order, and then last minute you're like, ooh, I definitely need to order. So absolutely check that out. And then a little bit about rewards, a little bit about the list, and then the options. So I'm going to go ahead, switch the camera around to my screen, and we are going to pre-order and plan with me. I hope you enjoy. So we are in my office with the Teddy Bee's Fall and Holiday pre-order, which opens tomorrow or today when it uploads September 2nd at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Feel free to look up what time zone that is for you, but do know that she will close the pre-order when the turnaround time is ended. So let's go ahead and scroll. Now this is on her website. You'll also be able to find this list on her Facebook group page, but I'm just using her list on her website. So anyway, some information that we've already talked about and chatted about, but the real important stuff is right here, the list. So these are all of the blends that will be offered during this pre-order. Super, super excited to go through the list with you guys one by one and decide what I'm getting. Now, all of these items will be available in souffles, in wax tubs, and in loaves. As you know, I love me a wax tub. I like to call them potato salad containers, but you guys can feel free to call them whatever you want. And then loaves. I don't really get a ton of souffles I have in the past, but Going forward, especially with this pre-order, I'm only sticking to tubs and loaves only because I just don't really need that small of an amount of wax like a souffle. So anyway, 
before you know it gets to be an hour video let's go ahead and get into the list so if you look over here let's go ahead and look over here all right so this is my list i have broken down tubs and loaves i'm predicting from just quick glance at the list 15 loaves and five souffles no oh my god 15 tubs and five loaves so we'll see how that works out for you but this is basically just getting an inside look on what i am doing and like how my mind processes pre-orders especially when they are big massive and only happen four times a year like teddy bees all right Number one, Anthony's Cabin. Birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and woods. This is a special one. In memory of Anthony, son of our beloved friend Dawn. Now, I already know I want to try this one because I've heard so many people talk about it. The notes aren't exactly up my alley. They're very woodsy and fresh, but... It's a special blend to Tiffany, and I hear a lot of people really love it, so I'm adding it to my list. Next, we have Botanica, which is a blend of lavender vanilla and sweet on Paris, both scents that don't really tickle my fancy, so I'm not going to go for that one. Next, Christmas Trees and Cream. I have a loaf of Christmas Trees and Cream, and... This is my channel, and I'm going to be honest, I don't love it like everybody else does. Now, don't get me wrong, it is an incredible, incredible blend, but it's definitely just not my favorite. So it's fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and rich buttercream. A lot of people love this blend, and that is awesome. I just find that it's a little too creamy for me and not enough pine to classify it as a Christmas scent. It's like a giant bowl of whipped cream with a dash of pine essential oil. So I don't love it. I have a loaf. I haven't melted it. It could be amazing on warm, but if it is, I still have a loaf of it. Anyway, I just, I don't need it, but crushed candy cane and Christmas trees and cream is definitely going on my list because I do have a, um, chunk bag that she used to offer in that scent and i love the blend of the christmas trees and cream with the crushed candy cane it really just makes you feel the crisp and coolness of outside now granted i don't really go for candy cane or peppermint fragrances on the regular but i am going to order this one because i like to have it and the one that i have now is at like that 10 month mark which is the perfect time in my opinion to order or to melt through Teddy Bees is that like 10 month time. I've had incredible performance at that mark. No, that's not set in stone. Everybody can melt whenever they feel fit. I just personally really like to melt her wax at the 10 month mark. And I know I don't crave it past holidays. So having just another tub of it to save for next year will be great. Dreamweaver. Flannel sheets, soft lavender with hints of vanilla and peppermint. I'm not the biggest fan of flannel sheets. And again, peppermint, lavender, eh, not really a blend that I could ever see myself melting. So that's a no for me. It's fall, y'all. Marshmallow fireside, sweet cinnamon, orange zest, leaves, brown sugar, and vanilla. It's the orange zest for me i don't think i would really like it just i don't love orange and wax so that is a no for me now this one i heart vanilla spiced apples i heart vanilla spiced apples i'm not only getting one i'm not getting two i am getting three why did that not Hold on. There we go. I am getting three I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. I actually have a chunk bag of it sitting right here. I Heart Vanilla blended with juicy apples, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. Let me get a big whiff of this right now. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. If you only get 
one thing in this pre-order. I heart vanilla spiced apples. Every single person must get. It is my favorite Teddy B scent of all time. And I know it sounds pretty, for lack of a better word, basic. It's vanilla apples. But listen, picture Cracker Barrel or Bob Evans. Those are like the only two places that I can think of that offer like spiced apples like as a side dish on a menu. And it's those cinnamon sugared apples, not red hot cinnamon or cinnamon stick, like a baked cinnamon apple over a bowl of fresh hard vanilla bean ice cream. And when that cold ice cream hits the warm apples and melts into this divine, decadent, rich, creamy scent, you can literally taste every scent in that fragrance. Because let me tell you, you smell just as much as you taste. Whenever you eat something delicious, you remember how it smells. And this is like that or like a hot apple dumpling, but there's no baked like bread note in here. It's definitely more of that spiced apple, but don't let the word spiced throw you off. It's a very creamy vanilla scent. I'm actually gonna pop a little half of this chunk in my warmers before bed tonight because I need to melt this. I cherish it. It is a scent I never wanna be without. So three loaves, it is. Okay, again, if you can only get one scent, that's the one. Milk, cookies, and zucchini bread. So I've had this milk and cookies before, and I love it, but blended with zucchini bread, it was offered on the last pre-order. I didn't go for it. I didn't go for it in the ready to ship, and I'm not going for it now. Just because I like zucchini bread, it's not my absolute favorite, but blended with milk and cookies, like I could do that on my own, so... I'm not really worried about that one. There's plenty of other ones that I need to have on my list, like Pumpkin Queen. Adding that right now. Fresh pumpkin clove, bourbon, toasted oak, vanilla santal, pistachio, finished with cashmere and cocoa butter. It just sounds like the most sophisticated, gourmand, heavy fragrance with the bourbon and the toasted oak and vanilla sandalwood or santal if you're fancy yeah that sounds totally up my alley and like i said i like teddy bee's wax to sit at about 10 months so it'll be perfect by next fall need to get that same with this one strawberry vanilla birch so it is the bath and body Works strawberry pound cake with vanilla birch I love vanilla birch and I love strawberry pound cake, blending them together. Absolutely. Sugared cider, adding right to my list. Old fashioned sugar cookies, a hint of cinnamon and sugar and cider donuts. I love apple cider fragrances and I wanna try all of them. They are just quintessential fall. Again, I heart vanilla spiced apples, for example. So I'm curious to see how this one is. It was offered in the ready to ship, but I did miss it. So I have to pick that up. The Bee Charmer, French Cade, Lavender, Peach, Apple, Magnolia, Wood, and Musk. Reading it doesn't do anything for me. The Night Before Christmas, flannel sheets, warm cashmere and vanilla blended with the scent of Christmas trees. Flannel sheets and Christmas trees are not notes I like, so no thank you. Tiff's favorite birthday cake and milk and cookies and zucchini bread. Again, milk cookies and zucchini bread is one I just don't really have an interest in. And Tiff's favorite birthday cake is Tiff's favorite lavender, which is a signature scent for her, blended with white cake and buttercream. I've had it. I've had Tiff Favorite Lavender. I enjoy it, but I don't think I need it necessarily blended with all those notes. I think it would just be a really creamy bakery. But Toil and Trouble, that sounds right up my alley. Pumpkin Spice Latte, Apple Cider Donuts, and Fluffy Marshmallows. Your Team Pumpkin and your Team Apple. So blended together with Pumpkin Spice Latte and Apple Cider Donuts have to have that one. Vanilla pumpkin circus cookies, a blend of our frosted circus sugar cookies paired with pumpkin pie spice and vanilla cream. Sign me up. 
That sounds so good. So creamy, creamy pumpkin. Winter Farmhouse. Sugarcane, rosemary, blue spruce, teakwood, sweet mint, palo santo, and light florals. I have this in a souffle from last year. Never really reached for it. Don't know why. Just doesn't really stand out as something that's like incredible to me. It might be on warm. I know a lot of people really like this blend. I just have never tried it, so we will pass on that one. Winterfell. I'm passing on it only because I have a loaf and a souffle still in my collection. I adore this fragrance. Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. It's incredible how setting the scene for a crisp winter night, Winterfell is it. Palo Santo and White Birch blend beautifully together to create the vibe of your in your house in really toasty warm pajamas and you see so much snow outside it's cool it's crisp outside and you're cozy inside that's the vibe that this gives and the icy snow and the vanilla with the marshmallow fireside is heaven i have a lot of it already in my collection if you don't definitely pick up winterfell i highly recommend it which is be crazy for blueberries Birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla. That's her witches be crazy. Blended with sweet blueberries. I like blueberry. I don't necessarily crave it or need all the things in it. So I'm going to pass on that. All right. Those were all of the fragrances that were returning into this pre-order that have been offered in the past. Now let's get on to the new scents. And over just a quick glance, I'm going to be adding quite a bit to my list. First off, Crete Show. Pumpkin Sugar Donuts, Marshmallow Fireside Type, Sugar Cookies, Creamy Cheesecake, Graham Crackers, Marshmallow Cream, and a Hint of Sweet Spice. I'll be 100% honest with you, I'm not interested in this one. The Pumpkin Sugar Donuts is an oil that a lot of vendors have been using lately. I don't care for it. It's almost like a red hot cinnamon donut with the pumpkin spice, and I don't love that. And then it's just a bunch of creamy blends. So that's an easy pass for me. The North. Not an easy pass. Actually, an easy loaf choice for me. Vanilla Balsam type. Palo Santo. Marshmallow Fireside type. And a hint of smoldering firewood. I don't love Christmas tree scents, but I love vanilla balsam. It smells like a Christmas tree, but a sweet Christmas tree blended with vanilla extract. I love that candle from Bath and Body Works. It's one I buy every year and blended with smoky, smoky, and more smoky, but sophisticated, creamy smoke. It's going right into a loaf for my cart. Snow Queen. Sweet sugared spruce, warm vanilla sugar blended with marshmallow fireside type. Now, sugared spruce, to me and my nose, is very sweet, almost cotton candy-like, which I know sounds crazy, but a lot of people who actually live in the north who have spruce trees all around them say the same thing, that when you smell a fresh spruce tree, it actually does smell a little bit sweet. So blended with warm vanilla sugar, warm vanilla sugar is that magic oil. Anytime it's added to a blend, it just smells divine and it really makes it complex. Adding that right to my list. Witches be crazy for cupcakes at Tiffany's. Super creamy pumpkin pecan waffles, but then cupcakes at Tiffany's. That is a scent. Crispy toffee, hints of chocolate, sweet sugar, buttercream, and vanilla cake. I just don't care for it, you guys. I don't know why. It's just not a scent that I gravitate towards. I've tried melting it. I know a lot of people here on YouTube love it. I just can't get behind it, but I know this will be a popular one. Just not adding it to my list. I Heart Vanilla Peppermint. So I love, obviously, my I Heart Vanilla blends. Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, Marshmallows and Magnolia, which is Boardwalk Marshmallow, blended with Creamy Peppermint Candy. Again, I don't really gravitate towards peppermint, and I'm already getting a mint scent, so that's an easy pass. 
Oak, Cider, and Woods, adding right to my list. Warm Malt Cider, Cedar, Oak, Vanilla, Toasted Marshmallows, Pine Cones, and Smoked Woods. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I love, love apple cider blends. And added with the oak and the toasted marshmallow and the cedar wood, yeah, sign me up. I think that one will be heavenly. Gingerbread ice cream cake. Sweet buttercream layered between warm white cake and vanilla ice cream topped with loads of gingerbread crumbs. Now, this one is intriguing to me because gingerbread can be very spicy a lot of the times. So, seeing it blended with a lot of creaminess, I'm hoping mellows out that gingerbread and can be a gingerbread that I really enjoy. I'll enjoy it either way, I think, but I'm hoping it's like an amazing, buttery, sweet, iced gingerbread. So, definitely excited to try that one. Milk, cookies, and eggnog, mm, easy pass. I don't love eggnog in wax, so I don't want that. Fireside marshmallows. Toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and rich vanilla cream. It's just marshmallow fireside, and I have the candles. I have a couple backups. I love the candle. I will burn the candle. I don't need wax to match. Santa's birthday cake. Vanilla balsam, Fraser furs, blended with our cozy cookie cake. I actually got cozy cookie cake in a tub in a D stash, and I really enjoyed it. If you like her Surfside Sweet Shop, it's very similar, except that added marshmallow fireside adds a little bit of a more toastiness to the beach treats and the sugar cookies. I really like it. I don't think I need it blended with Christmas trees, though, so easy pass. Witches be crazy for apple spice. Yeah, I definitely need that one. And I will tell you, I am a sucker for apple scents. And her witches be crazy is just delicious. So definitely want to try that one. And you don't see pumpkin pecan waffles blends really blended with apple a lot. So excited for that. One that is immediately going into my loaf bin is I Heart Vanilla Balsam and Palo Santo. I say I love her I Heart Vanilla and I love Vanilla Balsam. Those two together are just extra creamy vanilla tree and then blended with Palo Santo, the essence of Christmas right here, in my opinion, without being overly Christmas, loaf worthy for sure. House of Dragons. So we have Palo Santo and Vanilla Balsam, but... Fallen leaves, peppermint, and a hint of cinnamon. Three notes that I'm just not too keen on. Easy pass. Sweet spot. Butterscotch, warm snickerdoodle cookies, pecan waffles, and vanilla cream. Butterscotch, I can take it or leave it. I don't absolutely love it. So for a list that's going to get longer, it's a skip. Warm and toasty. Toasted pumpkins, a dash of spice, warm embers... Toasted marshmallows and a hint of mahogany vanilla. Mahogany vanilla is a candle from Bath and Body Works that I just adore. Anytime I burn that candle, I fall in love with it more and more. And during the last pre-order, Tiffany had a scent called Michael. I was only going to get one. I ended up getting two because I fell in love with it. And in the bedroom, I think it's going to be a beautiful scent. So just... Miss Toasted Marshmallow and Toasted Pumpkins, sign me up for that. Peppermint Cream Butter Cookies. Peppermint Candy, Marshmallow Cream, and Crispy Butter Cookies. Again, it's a peppermint bakery. Easy pass for me. The Perfect Holiday. Fresh Cut Pine, Cinnamon Sugar, and Toasted Marshmallow. The Perfect Christmas Type, which is a Bath & Body Works candle. Full disclosure, it is my least favorite holiday fragrance from Bath & Body Works. I don't know why it has the most bizarre fragrance to it. I bought it the one year when it was a frosted white jar with Santa's sleigh on it. And it was in red. It was a beautiful packaging. The lid was like a lacquered black that had Santa's belt buckle on it. So cute, but I could not stand the scent. I actually returned it and I was shocked. But so if it's the type, I know I'm not going to like it. So next God's Woods, Palo Santo, Birchwood, Pine, and Vanilla Balsam. Too much pine going on in there for me. 
easy pass. I will say if I do see reviews and I see people loving it when the pre-order comes in, it's one I might consider getting in the ready to ship. But for now, skipping that one. Witches be crazy for beach treats. You know, it's one that I'm like, if I don't get it, I'm going to regret it because I love both of those notes and together, delish. Pumpkin season. Rich cake infused with pumpkin spice, creamy vanilla coffee, oat milk creamer, brown sugar, and Palo Santo. Oat milk creamer and Palo Santo with brown sugar? I, I don't see how I wouldn't like that one. And oat milk in wax is delicious. Oat milk in life is delicious. So sign me up for some pumpkin season. Next, milk cookies and beach treats with lavender marshmallow. Easy pass. I'm not really interested in lavender marshmallow blends right now. La lavender, blue, vanilla, and Escobar. Downy lavender, vanilla, sweet lavender, and blue sugar layered with Palo Santo and beach treats. The only thing that I'm intrigued by in this blend is blue sugar, but with the laundry, not interested. Apple caramel streusel cake. Cinnamon spice cake, vanilla icing, brown sugar, and crisp apples with a light drizzle of caramel. I'll be honest, I thought this sounded good, but I have one, two different apple scents right now at least, so I don't need it. White woods and bonfires. White oak, cashmere, soft woods, vanilla, and bonfire bliss. I do not care for the bonfire bliss oil, if I'm being honest. It just smells a little too fake smoky for me so easy pass an assortment of oh christmas cookies an assortment of baked cookies powdered sugar buttercream pine and warm spices you lost me on the pine and warm spices but i'm sure it's a pretty good like pine cookie scent cookies in cashmere sugar cookies sugar cookie dough cashmere cream and vanilla birch again a pretty plain cookie scent there is cashmere and vanilla birch in it, but not enough to intrigue me. Ooh, the end of the list. Blushed. Vanilla birch blended with peach flush, strawberries, warm woods, and marshmallows. The fruit note in this blend are not fruity, but more fragrant, like in body care. This is so good if you like upscale warm scents, and I do. Adding that right to my list sounds very intriguing with the peach flush. Lavender bonfires, sweet lavender, cashmere bonfires, toasted marshmallows, and a hint of vanilla balsam. This I'm declaring as my uh, wild card scent. I don't know. It sounds very interesting, but I will regret it if I don't order it because I might end up loving it. Cashmere bonfires sounds way too intriguing for me to not pick it up, and it's new, so it is going to be my wild card. Cinnamon pretzel cookie keg. I see the word pretzel, and you can easily sign me up for that. I love pretzel, and it's a soft pretzel, which is even better. The more yeasty, the better for me. Covered in cinnamon and sugar, white cake, sugar cookies, and bakery dough. Yeah, that is one that I definitely need to pick up in my life. It just sounds really good, and I'm just going right for a loaf because I can, and I love me a pretzel scent, so sign me up. Next, we have Ocean. Fresh air and crisp ocean breezes, Downy Unstoppable's Ocean Breeze, Easy Pass, don't really care for laundry. Cookie Monster. Baked vanilla macaroons, sweet vanilla cookies, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Again, I don't love cupcakes at Tiffany's. Easy pass. Vanilla cream and sweet bread. Warm sweet bread, granulated sugar, vanilla milk, and sweet cream. You, you got me on the sweet bread. I think that sounds amazing. I love a yeasty scent. Adding that right to my list. Holiday. The scent of wreaths hanging, cookies baking, winter garland, and a warm fireplace. For some reason, this screams craft store, and I just don't really think that sounds like something I would care for. But if you like those type of scents, that's what that one sounds like to me and my nose. Number grown man. No. Oh, my Lord. It's been a long day. Grown woman shit. 
Okay, even just the name, I actually need to try that one. That sounds amazing. Palo Santo, Orchid, Warm Amber, and Smoked Vanilla. Really intriguing, and it has Palo Santo, and the name is just too good not to. Cashmere Winter. Sweater Weather, Cashmere Cotton, and Cashmere Cedar. It has Sweater Weather in it. Sweater Weather is a type of scent. I enjoy it. I buy one candle a year. I burn it. When it's done, I'm content and don't need any more so i don't really buy it in blends because i don't care for it after that so it's an easy pass crushed candy cane and tiff's favorite lavender already have crushed candy cane on my list and tiff's favorite lavender not necessarily for me morning cup of christmas vanilla chai cranberry chutney apple marmalade with a hint of fresh pine I'm ignoring that it has fresh pine because there's vanilla chai and cranberry chutney and I love chai and wax and I love, I'm typing vanilla chai, listen to me, and I love cranberry chutney, one of my favorite holiday fragrances, so that sounds divine. White pumpkin and birch. White pumpkin, warm spices, sandalwood, vanilla birch, amber, and cedar. That, again, sounds super sophisticated and definitely up my alley really enjoy just the sound of it i love birch and i love pumpkin especially white pumpkin white pumpkin is just very creamy to me and then last but not least milk cookies and christmas no thanks creamy vanilla powdered sugar sweet milk buttery cookie dough warm spices sweet spruce cinnamon and clove yeah not really up my alley with the end of that and i have a bunch of milk and cookies blends so let's take a look at my list. Honestly, not that terrible. I thought I was going to do 15 tubs. I ended up doing 20. Not too bad. Five loaves, six. Again, one page. I think this is a really nice list. Yes, this might seem absolutely crazy for a lot of people, but I go through my list. That's literally how I go through it in my head is I do a process of elimination thinking, do I need it? Do I not? And adding it to the list. I always can justify Teddy B's because she opens so infrequently that I love placing orders with her and they're always so exciting for me. <sighs> That's my list and I'm sticking to it. The only thing that I would add is I might get more I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples just because I absolutely love it. I know it sounds crazy, but I could huff this bag all night. It's, it's incredible. Whew. Yep, I think I'm pretty content with my list. What do you guys think? Phew. I feel like that was a lot of sweat and a lot of work going through that list, but I think it's finalized. I'm 99% sure it's finalized. The only thing I might do, add maybe more than three loaves of I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. I had to pull out my chunk bag. You guys, this is like gold. I, I, and I know it sounds so basic. It is so good. I'm actually going to take this chunk, cut it in half, and pop it in my bedroom right now to celebrate because I never thought I'd get this in again. I never saw a ton of people talking about it, but it was added to this list, and I need more of this baby, and I'm going to treasure this bag until I have three plus loaves in my possession again. But Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down below if you like this series, if you want to see it continue with other vendors. Not sure how I'll do it in the future. This is obviously my first one, but super, super fun. I love it. Let me know what you're ordering from Teddy Bees. Are you ordering? Are you not ordering? Give me all the scoop. Let's have a fun little convo down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're subscribed. If not, hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter. And I love you all so much. Bye guys and happy pre-order shopping.